So if you're in Traction Waveform and you want to know exactly how to add plugins, these are stock plugins we're going to deal with that are in Traction Waveform directly to your track. So the way you can start mixing and get your vocals to sound a lot better than what they normally would, then check this video out. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below. Let's get into it. All right, I'm in Traction Waveform 13 free version and I have a song. It's not really a song that I wrote, but it's just something that I'm working on. And here is the little audio. It's kind of like a riff, but let's listen to this track. See what we're working with. I say, oh, you know I gotta give it to you. So how do you go about adding effects to that track? Well, let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it a little better. There are a few different ways that you can do this. First off, you can go up to where you see a plus sign at and you can drag that directly down to the track and then it will open up all the different effects or plugins that you may have available. You also can simply just click the plus sign right here and do the same thing. I want to make sure that I'm using only the ones that come with the free version, even though you can download and install additional plugins. Now, there are a lot of free plugins that are available, and I plan to do more videos about that. So if you're finding value already, definitely subscribe to the channel because I have plenty more videos to come. All right, let's see. Waveform, we go down to effects. We're going to go to chorus. I just wanted to make sure that that was the free one. It should be included within the free version. And here is chorus. Let's dr drag it over so you can see it a little better. All right. So here's the chorus. I'm going to pan it so we can work with it. And let's just listen to that. I say, oh, you you know to give to you. Let's add another effect. So now you know that you're an expert on doing it. You can click the plus sign and let's go to waveform. Let's go to effects and let's do a distortion. Oh, that sounds fun. Let's hear what that sounds like. Bring that over here and let's going to taper this in some so we can start right at it. Okay, post game. So you notice on this effect, uh, as soon as I turn that drive up, that adds that saturation or the distortion. And as soon as it happened, it got kind of loud, very loud. So you want to accommodate for that, for bringing the output down, which is right next to it. I guess there are no actual templates in here that you can use or presets, but you can save it. So if I like this, I could save it and say distortion, uh, create a description for tag ins plugin. I can change the name and I can say uh, waveform distort. All right. And then I can press OK. And then there's some t other tags out here I can add to it, but I'm not going to worry about doing that. You can't even see it really good, but I'll bring it up some. You can see a little better. Press OK. And then it added it. And you can see it named the waveform distort. Once again, if you have any questions about how to do this, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't liked the video already, definitely give it a like too. It does help it spread to more people. This is Waveform Explored. All right, enjoy your day.